Hello and welcome to Mini Monet, a sensory art program for ages two to six years old from the Newburgh Free Library. My name is Sarah Scoggin and I'm the early childhood librarian at that library. So today's theme, the theme of the month is yarn. Um, and there are so many projects you can do with yarn, even before uh, little ones are old enough to do things like weaving that take out a lot of practice with fine motor. Uh, so we're gonna start with something uh, using paint. Here we have a yarn painting, which is pretty straightforward how it works to just use some paper, preferably thick so it doesn't get too saggy, any color, and then just use yarn to paint, yarn dipped in paint instead of a paintbrush. Um, you could use a sort of tassel made out of a bunch of strands of yarn um, to paint, and that's what made these purple zigzags there. Um, you could take one piece of yarn and um, lay it on the paper and then drag it, um, and that's what made these um, long blue marks on the paper. You could even put some uh, paint on the paper and drag the yarn through it. Um, it makes some really interesting patterns or color blending if you put two different colors close together and drag the yarn through. Um, or you could use um, something like this skinny piece of string. Um, I got this string really um, covered with paint and then I just let it kind of fall on the paper like that and then pick straight up again without dragging it at all. And that's what made these sort of scribbly shapes. Um, you could have all different colors of yarn scribbles. So um, just experiment, all kinds of yarn, fuzzy, thin, um, and just have fun with the yarn painting. Um, the next project is yarn flowers. Um, yarn wrapping is a great way to build those fine motor skills um, that I mentioned a moment ago. Um, this is a project from PowerfulMothering.com uh, because it's spring, we might as well have flowers, but you could use any shape you wanted, really. Um, you could even use a child's initial. Um, and so to cut out a flower shape and then have the little ones wrap the yarn. And they can be abstract. They don't have to cover it smoothly like I did here. Um, if they don't like the fact that they can see some of the cardboard um, through the uh, yarn uh, web there, they could paint it first, say paint the color yellow on the flower and let it dry and then wrap the yarn so you wouldn't see any cardboard. Um, so uh, you could just make a whole bouquet of whatever you can imagine. Um, another thing you can do, because uh, March came in like a lion and now is going out like a lamb, is to make uh, little yarn lambs. Um, I made this sort of the way you'd make a pom-pom. I have a piece of cardboard here and I've colored in a piece of it uh, with black crayon so little ones can practice wrapping the yarn but staying in that area so you get a nice uh, puffy sheep. Um, and then when it's all uh, complete, I, I slid mine off. I had a little uh, piece hanging off before I cut it. And I just reached through all the loops of yarn and pulled the little tail of yarn through and tied it off. Um, if that were hard to do, to reach through all those loops, you could use something like a coffee stirrer or a crochet hook to reach through and uh, help you pull the yarn through. Um, or you could even just create a ball of yarn, have the little ones practice making a ball of yarn and then gluing the pom-pom on um, for the head um, for a sort of a simpler version. And these are just uh, googly eyes on the pom-pom and little paper ears. Um, you could use yellow yarn and do the same sort of step Instead of doing paper ears, you would do uh, a paper mane for the lion. And finally, an idea from Artie Crafty Kids, and that is watercolor with yarn. Um, so I took some yarn and I cut it in about 10 to 12 inch lengths, and I got it really covered with uh, tacky glue. You could use um, almost any kind of glue, but that worked particularly well. And I just draped it um, any shape and let it dry and then I used watercolor to sort of fill in the shapes. You could leave some blank. Um, I decided to write spring on mine but um, you could just have whatever uh, message or no message written on it as you like. Um, I personally put wherever there were loops I made them pink. Um, so it's just a, a chance to really be creative um, with abstract colors and shapes. So that's all of the uh, yarn art I have for you today. Hopefully you will join us again next month for more Mini Monet. Thanks so much for watching.